Alright guys, what is going on Flight here? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more World of Warships action. In today's video, we have a tier 8 Russian... Be quiet, we can't tell anyone. We have a tier 8 Russian cruiser. Here we go for the pronunciation hype. Mikhail Kutuzov. Uh, we'll try it again. <laughs> Mikhail Kutuzov. Yes, duh. So the tier 8 Russian cruiser... I'll let you guys get a little look at her before I start analyzing her. <clears throat> yeah. Now she is gosh darn beautiful. Look at that ship. Now how this ship came to be is, it a, it's, I think it's a 1950s design. And uh, the Russian confiscated or bought or somehow got uh, these pre-war, pre-war war two Italian cruiser designs that they maximized or modified um, for um, in the 50s or at least when they started building it. Uh, for top speed, manu uh, maneuverability, um, and seaworthiness, as well as be operational on the northern sea. You know, more rougher seas up there. So this is what you get out of it. She is just gosh darn beautiful. All right, so let's start to go over it. We have 40,000 hit points, 700. Um, we have 4.9 kilometer range with an 8 tier 8. Let's just do some picking real quick. Let's go to the, uh, um, the Otago. Now, this is a premium ship. Let's just check out its range real quick. 15.8. Okay. Let's go to the American uh, uh, Nolens. 16.2. All right. Let's go to the... Okay. Well, the, 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 the Admiral of Hipper is just going to be absurd. 16.1. So we only have 14.9 kilometer range. Let me get back to the... Uh, there we go. The Mikhail. There we go, perfect. We only have 14.9 kilometers. Not that much range at tier 8. Uh, we do have four turrets of three guns in each, 152 millimeters, so that's six inches or 5.98. Um, not that big of a gun for tier 8. Um, now, I wouldn't mind an extra turret with three guns to give me five, like the, the Magami class, um, but it doesn't seem like much firepower with much range. Uh, we have secondaries. We have six hundred millimeter, or six or twelve hundred millimeters. Whoa! These things look like the, look like the German ones. Real talk. God, that thing looks scary. Okay. Uh, now the benefit of this cruiser, though, we do have torpedoes. We have ten torpedoes on each side, or excuse me, five on each side makes ten in total. We have pentatubes, and um, we have eight kilometer torpedo range, so not bad. A defense is actually pretty darn good. We have we, oh, we have 16 dual 37 millimeters. Those are powerful. Uh, and then we also have our secondaries to back up our artillery. And this is what I think makes this ship 33 knots for a cruiser. That is fast. I mean, that is really fast for a cruiser. Let's just go ahead and compare the Otago again. Our maneuverability is... Oh my gosh, that is so fucking fast. Okay, hang on, let's go to the non-premiums. Uh, Megami, 34.5. Well, the Japanese are known for their very fast cruisers. Um, let's go to the United States. Please be slower than New Orleans. Oh my gosh, so in actuality, this cruiser is going to be a fucking headache. What does this thing do good? I mean, that's a, that's a, fa that's a, that's a pretty good top speed. But look how f massive this thing is. This is going to be a Citadel City ship. With no range. No powerful guns. I mean, I bet they're accurate. They have to be accurate. They have to have really good reload. Um, our captain's pretty low, so we can... We'll just do ship survivability real quick. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can get on this thing, though. Okay, modules. Upgrades. Here we go. Okay, let's, let's bring this thing into light. Now, Russian guns do have a tendency of exploding, so I'm going to get this on them. Okay. Let's see. Main battery modification. Plus 10% to main battery loading time. Plus 5... Uh, we don't want that. Uh, increase in main battery firing accuracy. I want that. Because if I, if I only have 6-inch shells, I want all of them to fucking hit. And we'll get this. Now, please tell me we have some range upgrades on this thing. Hmm. We get a steering gear upgrade, and then we have, and then we have a target acquisition system, which just doesn't increase our range at all. 
So, I don't really know how I feel about this ship. What does it do good? It better have really good high explosive shells. Oh, <laughs> that looks fucking awesome. Oh, well, that one's actually sicker. We actually need that one. Now, if you guys are wondering why my account is pink in the top left, I was making the very honorable video late at night, and I was in a co-op battle, and uh, I killed a, a, a friendly Zhao who was AI. There was no one else in the battle. There was no human player, so I was just bored out of my mind, so I shot him, and it gave me this team kill stuff. So I'm not a bad person. I just get very bored at times. All right. Let's take her out. Good luck. Action stations, lads. We are on hot spot. And we're going to get this. How is this thing not hitting the bottom of... No way. No way. <laughs> it's so hitting this. You know how deep this hole is? Holy crap. Maybe it's just a... Yeah, it looks freaking shallow. Um. Uh, uh. Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Man... Um, what, what was I talking about? I think, I think, I think I said this earlier in the video. Um, but someone did like a, consp uh, a comparison of how fast these ships move with the map and the, uh, and the island sizes that these ships are supposed to be like in proportion are going 100 kilometers an hour on the water. Goodness. Okay, at least Philly's on our team. Oh, thank you, Adler. He says good stuff, man. Dude, guys, that's so fucking kind. God, I need that stuff. I just love, I love like honest comments that just like, are just from the heart. It feels good. I like being friends with people. If I end up as a kill in your vid, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah, oh, shit. So, the, the good thing is that we, you know, people are friendly and stuff, but when people are friendly to you in video games, they fucking kill you and they rape you. They send shells, they penetrate you with shells. Oh, shot fly in the arse, oh gosh. So, I don't know... Okay, I, I have three bad things going for, for this game. First of all, I have a pink highlight on my name. I have a ship that no one can use right now. And, um... They want to kill me. Let's hope for the best this game. Okay, so we have someone in C. God, this range is so small! This thing better have some good-ass armor. Okay, here we go. We're gonna spray and pray. Oh, beautiful shots. If I reset that, that'll be amazing. Okay, but I think I think how I can really maximize this game to the best of my ability is to get the frick with my teammates. Um, now, when... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Those are battleship shells. Retreat. Now, reviewing the ship in the beginning, um... I thought, you know, from... Oh, jeez Louise, guys. Where are you? Don't want to show my Citadel. Um, reviewing the ship in when I first got it, you know, the, the Russian destroyers are some of the fastest ships in the game. Actually, the fastest ship in the game. With some of the fastest torpedoes. Uh, Ognivoy. Um, and I thought that would relate or pass down onto, onto the cruiser designs, but... It looks like... Oh, gosh! What a fucking shot! Sweet! Okay. Going good. I thought it would pass down to the cruisers. Um, but it seems like... Um... Ouch, it's gonna hurt. Oh, thank gosh we're missing. It seems like all the other cruisers in the game are... This might be like the third... Or the, uh... The, the Admiral Hip... The Admiral Hipster, oh my gosh, is probably the slowest. It probably... This one locks in kind of around the Nolans, if I remember correctly. Just scary stuff. We have anti-air, or uh, aircraft are, oh gosh, we got the torpedo bamas. We have a New Orleans trying to escape. We are in range, we're gonna start opening up on this guy over here. We're gonna slow down here. 14.8, let's, yeah, that's good. Those are, the, 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 those are coming right for me. 2,000 damage, high explosive, I'll take that any day. We're gonna we're gonna sit here because that that New Mexico is gonna keep coming out. Seven hundred damage, six hits. I don't like that at all. Very accurate guns though with that upgrade. Holy crap! Okay, he's pulling out. We got a tango in front. The New Orleans is gonna come now. Can I Citadel with six inch guns on a tier eight? 
We can try it. Okay, we'll get our front guns operational here. I know I can sit it all Pensacola with six inch guns. This guy is completely, okay, here we go. He's off anyways. Push it back to high explosive, we'll try later. No damage. Right over that mountain top, that's what I'm talking about. We do have a carrier that's very vulnerable that we should probably speed after. Ooh, nice little hit right there, I'll take that. Sort of enjoying this ship right now. No damage from that. Oh, there we go, 300 damage. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna speed up here. This, uh. Man, get out of the way. I need to pronounce it. The Shokaku is very vulnerable. But he's speeding away right now. At the same time, if we commit for him, we have that North Carolina class over there who's like, you are not doing that to our aircraft carrier. So it might be. We might engage him for a little bit, but we won't go full-blown on him. <clears throat> got a turpets as well. We gotta wait for our battleship support as well. I can't lead the charge with, with, with the uh, New Orleans over here. But we can do some damage, and we will. That's the thing. Push B fleet or lose. Okay. Good call. So we had a... Uh, Nice call by one of our teammates here. He says that if we chase the carrier, we're going to lose. So I'm turning around. Horrible turning circle. That's what you get with, with a very long ship. Come on, guns. Let's rotate around. Let's go. Holy crap. Turret rotation is bad, too. I'm gonna call these in to help that uh, New Orleans over there. Okay, we're good to go here. Now the name of the game right now is that we're going to be engaging B, and hopefully that will change the tide of the battle. We do have a one ship advantage right now. We do have um, a destroyer up as well. Okay, just gotta be careful here. I'm playing pretty passively. Might want to get in there and test this armor out. Look at that Tago engaging this guy. That must be so frick. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of close. Maybe he might sail into our shots. He might travel a kilometer in that time. He's, well, he's in range for me. Oh, no fucking way, MLG! MLG! Back, 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 back. Is he still on fire? No, he put it out. But these, but these might get him on fire here. Back. <laughs> oh, cr oh gosh. Oh my Lanta! This thing has no armor at all. I don't mean we weren't even that broadside, were we? No, we were kind of broadside. That was a good shot by whatever that was. A North Carolina class or a turpitz from 20 kilometers out. Okay, we gotta keep forming. There's half our health. This cruiser is going to be very situ uh, situational. That's it. We have Ogni Boy over here engaging. I like watching my shots fire. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, shit, just a tad too behind. On the way. Get his engine. Okay, time to change targets here. We're gonna go for this New Mexico class, set him on fire, hopefully. Come on, turn out, turn out. That's an Amagi engaging us. Oh, he's gonna hurt so bad. 
Oh, yes. The RNG is with us. We gotta push B, boys. We can push C, too. This guy's going full power. No, he's still going reverse. Good. Nice fire. We're gonna hide our uh, citadel right now. Good. Good job. Oh my gosh. 8,000 damage. You can hit this ship anywhere and it will fucking explode. I guess we can go to C and try to cap it over there. Uh, the, the Amagi's out of range right now. This guy's still in range, but he is just going in reverse. Good tactic with the New Mexico, honestly. I'm trying to push for C, I think. Oh, sorry, Otago, my bad. I think, I, I think, you know, I'm at low health. I'll try to go into B and cap it. Why not? I'll maybe set another fire onto this New Mexico, if possible. The enemy is about to win. I can't even see where that guy's firing on me. Okay, four hits, no damage. I mean, if, I, if I'm gonna die, I might as well make a move, right? Two hits, no damage. I'm probably firing too low. We'll try to aim a little bit higher for a superstructure. We're gonna turn into these, um, it's, it's kind of bad right now because I have a, 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 a Magi to our left in a New Mexico. Jesus, fuck. New Mexico, take some damage. Oh, that's right. These are six-inch guns. No wonder. <laughs> oh, there's one. This game is so inconsistent with its damage values. I have no idea. Okay. Moving into B. Got a fire start it. Good. Keep it up, butter. He's like, wait, that bitch is doing most damage to me. Okay, if we can kill this guy, we can reset a, a, again. No, we, we want to turn towards him. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, he just, he just put out the fires. Damn it. Bat guns are almost on target here. Incoming. I just set two fires. He must have still been in his repair module. Oh, we almost died right there. No damage. Got a fire started. Okay, hopefully he won't be able to get another shot off before he dies. Good, we got a kill. Fuck yeah. All right, next target. the Amagi. If we, can, if we can kill him, we might have a chance of resetting. Oh, there's a reset. Oh, this is going good, boys. Good, boys. Fire. I just double click. Come on. Damn it. Please do not engage me. Full damage or full salvo. 400 damage. Okay, now what do we do? We don't have that much time out or time left. Battle ends in five minutes. I think my best. Okay, we got a destroyer over here. Come on, there he is. We gotta kill this guy. He's in smoke, but he's in full power, too, with a boost on. Spam shots. One hit, maybe? Nice. Oh, shit. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. 
Come on, get him, guys, get him. Get him, get him, guys. I can't take a torpedo right now. Another batch coming in. Oh, no, Turpid, stay alive. Oh, shit. I think he's going to get him here. Good luck, Turpids. It's, it's GG anyways. GG! Five that game, though. We took two huge hits middle game. We got one ship kill. 113 hits. That makes sense. Five aircraft shot down. One incapacitation. Eight sets on fire. Not that bad. At the same time, I don't feel powerful in this ship. I feel like I'm just a escorter ship with good AA and good guns to kill DDs with. Um, but other than that, I don't feel that powerful in this ship at all. But anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video in the comments below. Feel free to link some other Soviet battleships and cruisers that we might be able to see soon in the game. Because uh, they get pretty crazy and uh, a, a lot of the time they are paper. I believe a lot of the paper or a lot of the high tier battleships in this game will be paper as well as cruisers. But this one did exist. I can link it in, uh, in the uh, comments or the description below for you guys to check out. Until next time, boys. Have a great day. Peace out.